Hey, what's up YouTube and Facebook? Aaron Danton here. Uh, I have been trying to make a video to upload for two weeks. Um, basically, it's about the angel in Revelation 10 who puts his feet, one on the sea and one on the sand. So, in... Let's see, Revelation 10. And I saw a mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. Um, and he cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth, and when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven. So, to identify the angel, um, it's actually in Revelation 22. It says, uh, last chapter in the in the holy bible um i think it is yes uh, verse 6 chapter or uh, uh revelation 22 verse 6 and he said unto me these sayings are faithful and true and the lord god of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto the servants the things which shortly be done so God sends his angel to the prophets, John. John is a prophet, right? Um, and at the end of 10, it says, And he said unto me, John, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations, tongues and kings. So, um, the angel is sent to John, who's told he has to prophesy again. And um, so then it, it goes on, you know, in 10 to say that he has uh, one foot on the sea, which we know Jesus walked on water, right? The sea. Um, and when Peter took his eyes off Jesus, he began to sink into the sea, or sink into the sea. Um, and in Revelation 17, I believe it is, 17, um, Revelation 17, verse 15. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, that's the whore of Babylon, the church of Babylon, um, which came from the old days, you know, um, Tower of Babel, um, which was just a multitude of gods, um, the likes of like Apollyon, Zeus, um, Beelzebub, you know, those guys, um, they become the enemy of God, you know, in their vanity to think that they can be like God by building a tower to reach God, um, so basically, it's a it's a parable for a house stacked on top of a house. So what is a house? A house is um, like, um, you know, Jesus says he goes to heaven. And sure, there, you know, there's many rooms in heaven. And he goes to prepare a place for, um, for us. So um, the waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. So when Jesus walked on water, it's a double entendre. It's saying that he rose above the deception and was able to walk above it in heaven. Um, so when the angel comes and he puts a foot on the sea and the earth, um, so the earthies are the Canaanites, right? The tillers of the ground. Um, they dwell in the land of Nod. So he. And then he gives John the book 
the little book, which we know who dwells in the land of Nod today. It's mostly Muslims. And it's uh, sweet on the lips and bitter in the belly, meaning that um, it seems legit, it seems right, only worship God. But as you digest it, it becomes bitter. And there's a lot of false doctrines out there that seem great, seem right. And, you know, as you digest it, though, you start seeing, um, or you get rebuked. I mean, everybody who's ever tried studying the Bible gets rebuked at some point or another because they're like, you know, your own thoughts creep in into things and you start um, following those those thoughts, you know, down a path. And then somebody who's already been down that path will rebuke you because they're like, dude, I've already been down that. I already know that. Uh, and it's false. There's just there's nothing that leads to down that path, you know. So, um it's really as simple as um, follow Jesus because he's on the, you know, he leads you down the narrow path to heaven and all other paths lead you to hell um, the other way. So if you follow Muhammad, um, who fell to the tempter and deceiver, otherwise he wouldn't have had wealth, kingdoms and murdered and multiple wives. And I was raised in the Mormon church so it's hard for me to say it but Joseph Smith did the same thing but Jesus goes to minister to the spirits so there is repentance for spirits you know so he can in the end come back um, whether or not Muhammad you know ever comes back is up to him in in the spiritual realm of things and Lucifer you know any of the fallen that followed Lucifer it'll be up to them because Jesus goes to minister to spirits who are in bondage uh, because he gave himself to the bondage to bondage to go preach those things but not in the same manner as the people who are there that dwell in and are under the bondage of chains you know so um, he was always free to leave because he actually was a sinless man not bound by hell he's not bound by the chains so he's free to come and go and he can preach to whoever he wants who's in hell which is why David says you know don't leave me here come for me I'll be waiting. Um, so then, you know, Revelation 22 uh, goes on to say, you know, uh, let's see, so we left off at six. Well, I started at six and left off at six, but we all know the part about the tree and the 12 manner of fruits. They are the tribes, you know, um, it tells you who they are. If you search it out, you know, the, Uh, the 12,000 sealed under under of the 12 tribes um, ministering spirits so here John is who's like you know um, being led about by God's angel and he keeps trying to fall down and worship this angel and he keeps saying worship God don't worship me and Jesus Christ is a spirit of prophecy um, so it's it's there for you to understand in the fact that uh, he's covered in the blood of Jesus Christ um, and I John saw these things and heard them this is uh, Revelation 22 8 um, and when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant. And of the brethren the prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. So he's saying, don't worship me, worship God. And then he says, the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. So this is who sits on the throne, 
who's going to judge by the works. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. The curator of what's happening, John, doesn't ever say that, you know, a different person or a different being or a different angel is there in front of him. It's the same one who says, don't worship me. Uh, I'm your brother. <laughs> Blessed are they that do his commandments and they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. The very next one says, I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. So, if it's truly as it says right now, um, why are the churches closed? What are they trying to stop? I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. So God can take whatever um, gifts he gives you, which of course he did to Lucifer, who was his highest angel at one point, and gave it to Jesus. You can finish the rest. Um, but... You know, and then also, you know, like Math, Mark, Mark 12, you know, uh, I forget what verse, but at the end it says, uh, one of the apostles came up to Jesus and said, um, your brethren and your mother desire to speak with you. And he says, who are my, who's my mom and who's my, my brother? And, uh, he says, oh, indeed they are my mom and my brother and my sister. For they do the will of God. And whosoever should do the will of God, I'll call my brother, my mother, or my sister. Um, so, Jesus never wanted to rule over the top of people. As uh, a lot of kings fall, that's one of the reasons they fall, is that they want dominion, they want power, they want glory. They want, you know, those things for themselves. Jesus always gives it away. He gives it to God. Because he knows God. And he knows without God, he wouldn't even be. So, may God and Jesus Christ bless everybody. Much love. Amen.